Tornadoes tore through several U.S. states, killing dozens of people, with Kentucky bearing much of the brunt with 80 casualties reported. Officials expect those numbers to climb as the search for victims continues. We really want to make sure that we find anybody who still might be trapped in the rubble um, across all of these states. Um, but then it's going to be a long recovery, and we really need to focus on how we're going to help these communities with their immediate needs, their immediate sheltering needs, and then the long-term housing needs that are going to really be needed to help these communities and these families rebuild. These satellite images show before and after shots from Arkansas and Kentucky that capture the devastation of the historic storms that leveled entire communities and tossed rubble more than 160 kilometers away. As the winter cold creeps in, some survivors who lost their homes now seek safety in emergency shelters. We opened warming centers. We had 13 open. Only six are still open because those of us blessed enough to not be hit directly with this tornado take other people in, whether we know them or not. Um, Chuck, we're, we're good people uh, that look out for one another, that have just gone through something incredibly difficult, but yeah. we are resilient and we will rebuild. Kentucky so far is the only state asking for and receiving an emergency declaration from the Biden administration. FEMA Administrator Deanne Criswell says the agency has about 100 personnel there, including urban search and rescue teams, but adds the next challenge is taking survivors to safety severe weather that happens in these cold months, it just makes the uh, impacts of that even seem so much greater. Um, and so again, working on providing safe and um, secure sheltering for individuals so we can keep them out of the elements is going to be a priority. Six states suffered severe storms from Friday to Saturday. Several tornadoes touched down in the region with one in Kentucky traveling more than 320 kilometers. Criswell says one of FEMA's goals is educating communities on their unique risks and types of mitigation projects to help lessen the impact of future disasters. Arash Arabasadi, VOA News.